Today, I'm going to be reviewing HERS potato chips. HERS chips. It takes me way too long to read these ingredients. There's words that I don't really know how to say. Let's face it, most of the population won't know what most of this stuff means. Let's get into one of these chips here. It doesn't smell nutritious. I kind of smell a potato. That is just a lot of artificial flavors on top of some type of vessel to deliver artificial flavors into your body, which happens to be a potato. This may be one of the worst loaded baked potato chips I've ever had. It doesn't have any any power. I mean, I was I was able to to crunch it with my teeth without any type of resistance. The chip didn't it didn't fight me. It gave up. I want the chip to resist being crunched into thousands of small pieces. But these chips, they just what? What am I supposed to do with that? I taste a little bit of sour cream. I barely taste the potato. This could be a rice chip for all I know. Whoa. Very salty. The bad thing is, the salt is making me addicted to the chip. So even though I don't enjoy it, I have to keep eating it because of the salt. What's the hype all about? Hers chips? With two R's just to make it extra intriguing, I, I'm not buying it to be honest with you. This tastes like something you get at the Dollar Tree. I'm not tasting the uh, the cheddar at all or the bacon. I don't even see bacon in here. It's probably one of the artificial flavors. Like I said, I'm gonna keep eating. I'm already I've already eaten a majority of the bag, as you can see, because of the salt. Just the salt alone. But I'm not happy about it. No, not at all. Overall, I give these chips three and a half. Maybe it's just a bad, bad bag, I hope. All Hearst products are fully guaranteed. I'm not satisfied, so I will be writing them a strongly worded letter telling them that they need to try harder. Hers chips. And now it's Facebook notification. If there's not a story on the back, if there's not a story on the back, the story is decent. If I were grading this, 